Hello everybody, my name is Kaiwon. Today I'm pretty excited because this is the early hands-on video about the 600D Pro. This is a 300D Mark II box and this is a 600D Pro box. So today I'm going to quick unbox this Aperture 600D Pro and do a first impression video because I haven't opened it yet. And also we are going to compare the 300D Mark II with the 600D Pro. This is a roller case for the 600D Pro. You don't need to buy it separately like a Nova P300C. It's really so easy to transport the 600D Pro. At the bottom we have a small handle to hold this box. So in the box, we have some paperwork, we have some stickers, and we have a wireless remote. Holy! This control box is huge compared to the 300D Mark II. We have a huge fan under this control box. Because this control box is rain resistant, so we have these rubber flippy floppy caps on all the ports. And this is a 600 series hyper reflector. So is there any different? Yeah, it's different compared to the 300D Mark II. The shape and size is pretty much the same, but in the inside, we have more squares inside the reflector compared to the 300D Mark II. But is it brighter? I don't know, but I will test this reflector in a full review. Holy smoke, this is huge okay so 300d mark ii and 600d pro side by side size comparison and about the weight this 600d pro is surprisingly light it's definitely lighter than two 300d mark ii in the box we have a three meter xlr five pin cable this will connect your light to the control box and this is a ip67 rating cable and we also have a pretty long nutrix power cable and it's also a rain resistant cable. Okay, so this is the last fan in this box. So this is the controller box clamp. That's it. So it's time to play with the 600D Pro. Light it up. How bright is the 600D Pro? It's that bright. And how about compare it to the 300D Mark II? See the difference? First thing I noticed, the fan noise on this control box is so loud. It's even louder than a lamp head. So can we turn it off? Fan mode off. Yep, so we turn. What the heck? Um, so we just turn the fan mode to off and we turn off the control box and the lamp head fan. And then the lamp head just overheat and it just shut down by itself. Okay, so right now we just can't turn the fan mode to on because if you turn the fan mode to off, it would just overheat. This is a final production unit, so Aperture need to update their firmware to fix this problem. So we can press the dimmer to change different level of output. And we have the same dimming curve as the 300D Mark II. Studio mode on and off. The control system is pretty interesting because we have Bluetooth, you can use Citus Link, and you can use 2.4 gigahertz control, the remote, Aperture Universal Remote. And we have Lumen Radio. This is new stuff. I got to figure it out by myself. And we have internet. The internet port is over here and we just plug in the internet cable and we can do something cool. Language, we have simplified Chinese and English. And we have DMX mode. Okay, and the effect page. Yeah, so after select the effect we want, we can jump into the effect control page. We can control the frequency, the intensity without using the Citus link. This is pretty straightforward. And about the V-mount battery, let's try it out. So after we plug in the V-mount battery, just start to charge immediately. Let's try. If we unplug the AC power without turning it off, will it switch to the battery immediately or will it black out or it will just yeah, it will black out and just come back again. If we turn off the light and the battery is still charging, we will see this cool animation on the screen. So super cool. Okay, so right now I'm using 14.8 volts battery. So we can use 300 watts of power, just like the 300D Mark II. We cannot use the full power. If we want the full power, we need to use a higher voltage V-mount battery. And also the 600D Pro cannot power by a single V-mount battery. You always need two. Okay, so this is Aptra 600D Pro early hands-on video. Any question, leave a comment below. I will reply all of them. And also I will make a full review, talked about pros and cons, what I like, what I don't like, and my personal thoughts. Yeah. 
So if you like this video, press like, make sure to subscribe my YouTube channel to check out more video like this. If you want to watch more video like this, check out this playlist. My name is Kai Yuan, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.